Oh, NorCal's got a job to go do today. Oh, I feel like a real boy. Real boy! So, we're gonna go, uh, I'll bring you guys along. We're going to go, uh, I'm gonna see if we can pump this unit down. Now, I put this compressor in on this walk-in box. There's a video of it from way back in the day. Um, I'll try and put a link in there from the, from the old video. You can go back and watch a video of the compressor change out. It might have been from like 2013 or something like that, maybe like seven years ago. Um, 2013 or 2014, I'm not sure. But I'll put the link in there for that. But we're going to go and pump this thing down. And uh, we will... Uh, we're going to remove the evaporator coil so they can refurbish the walk-in box. It needs a bunch of work. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Bam. Let me get the cover off and we'll get into this. I'm talking through my mask. What's up? Yeah, baby. All right, here it is. Um, it looks like I put it in in November of 14. She's good and dirty. She needs to get it's never been serviced. I know that. I need to clean the condenser limber when we do the restart. But um, let's gauge up on it, and then I'll show you this real quick. Okay, so let's gauge up on the low side. And we're going to close our liquid line service valve. It's probably good to get two wrenches on there, see how the whole thing wants to move. All right, so you get gauged up on the low side. Close off your liquid line. Get that all the way front seated. Then we'll go bang the thermostat on. And what you'll get is all the refrigerant's going to pump back down into the receiver and the condenser. Then you can run it down into a vacuum and then close off your suction service valve, front seat that. And then your suction line, your liquid line will be empty and your coil will be empty. And then we can take that evaporator coil apart. Let's go down in the box and we'll crank the thermostat on. Right now it's off, we're in a vacuum. I found this suction pressure switch not turning the unit off. So there's always a multiple offender on every job. I've told you guys that from the beginning of my videos. So when this thing was up here running just now, it was uh, the solenoid was shut off and the valve, this uh, suction pressure switch, I had to wrap on it to get it to turn off. So we should be able to check that right now too. Let's go pump this thing down. We got the uh, king valve front seated. Thermostat's calling for uh, cooling. I'll go ahead and bump the pressure switch and I'll take it down into a vacuum. And then I'll go ahead and I'll close off my suction service valve. And then we'll be ready to take that coil apart. on because this thing's so the, all the refrigerants between this receiver in the condenser backed up into the compressor and on the other side of the valve so it's all sealed off I'll put the caps back on it's gonna be like this for a while and when we reinstall the evaporator you gotta change your liquid line dryer basic refrigeration practices 
We're going to get this back on. Let me get this side back on. These are always a pain in the ass. There we go. We'll get our screw back in there. And, uh, all right, so we got the caps back on, the cover back on. We're pumped down, we're sealed up. We'll go down to our evaporator and we could take it apart um, so they can rebuild this box, get this box shined up. And when we come back to change out the dryer, reinstall the coil, clean the condenser, we'll do like a little maintenance on this. I got some gaskets I gotta put on here. I bought two. Hope I did. Let's make sure I got the right ones. I didn't get a ton of video, but I showed you guys a little pump down thing. I got the coil pulled out, uh, and I changed out two door gaskets on the Cooks line. And uh, that's it for today. Tomorrow I got a Trollson to look at. I'll try and videotape that. I guess it's not working. Maybe do a troubleshooting video on a Trollson freezer. I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. Uh, I noticed things are uh, I was joking around about coronacation that what it's been 24 days for us now 24 25 days but things are really starting to slow down now and I think people are staying home we got the masks out these two got masks that's good to see and uh, things are just uh, yeah they're getting a bit slower out there I'll get a follow-up video. The coil, the evaporator coil I got, I put it in the back of the restaurant until they get done doing some work on that box. They're going to do a little cleaning and a little tidying up. But that evaporator coil is absolutely filthy. And i got to clean it before I put it back up in there. So we'll get a video of that, so stay tuned for that. And I'll try and get a, a reinstall video. It should be pretty cool. Other than that, you guys, that's it. NorCal is out. Like and subscribe, baby.